Good evening everyone and welcome back to my franchise zoo. Yeah, we are in the next episode and as you know last episode we did the polar bear habitat and let me oh my god We just have the perfect image here now you can see the welfare is actually pretty dope It's pretty okay. So the only issue we still have is a little bit of space. So water is kind of okay uh, Terrain is okay and everything we did here with the land bridge and stuff is everything is great So the only thing I'm willing to do is just open up this habitat to this side a, a tiny bit I think we should be able to do this rather quickly um, before we look at also uh, sorry a little bit for the performance issues I feel like it's it's the um, it's kind of because of the snow the park is quite big and this this giant habitat as uh, soon as you edit it it seems like a little bit demanding uh, in terms of what it does so yeah I don't know it, it might be a good idea to maybe focus on um, maybe making that a little bit more uh, without snow but anyways we are in uh, snow right now and we cannot do anything about it also uh, for like you know uh, Christmas time now and in winter time at least in game I have snow like where in in real life I will never have snow again I guess um, at least not in the middle of Europe um, it's more likely that we have uh, summer holidays in winter next year because it's so freaking warm outside it's I'm not gonna lie it's 17 freaking degrees outside 17 degrees it is insane we have like the 20th of uh, freaking December in middle of Europe and with it's insane I cannot even say it's oh god it's just like insane we have 17 degrees and it's like I don't know it's like 8 o'clock in the evening like 8 p.m. it's very late and it's like just I don't know anyways performance should be fine though um, I've got rocking 60 FPS at the moment it's just like a little stutter here and there uh, which could also be only the snow I don't know but yeah look at that I mean I love how those two, two bears swim here just maybe look from from down here let's have a look in while they swim past oh, that's so cool look at that that is so great oh look at this I love I love how they just stop here and then let just turn around and um, Oh yeah, animals are not in their ideal temperature. I know. What's the weather gonna change soon? Are we gonna put some heaters in, right? Animal is hungry. Well, hopefully we are getting some. Okay, wait. Uh, wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's the it's the the animal itself. So let's see. It's is that the Gila monster? Yeah. So exhibit is not great. We can we can change some stuff about the exhibit, right? So let's let's do these kind of things here. Um, and also temperature wise are you okay temperature wise so where can I see that again uh, it is in the Aldea temperatures that's fine so what about this guy over here can I yeah I can just improve the welfare of these ones um, rather quickly there we go uh, also what about this one? Oh my oh my lord okay um, maybe it's going to be overcrowded here but uh, Oh, look at that. How many snacks do we have here? Um, can I actually click this animal? I cannot, right? How am I even supposed to select the animal then? Um, first of all, just put all these rocks in. Um, social health, put other uh, social group. Group is too large, right? Yeah, I mean, we can actually sell some. Why not? If they are... Are they already mature? I don't know. So what is in here? Uh, is that the same issue? No, what about the temperature? Oh, it might be a little bit too uh, cold in here. I'm gonna gonna change this and lay out. Oh god, we didn't research anything on that one. My bad. This is my bad. Okay, scorpions. What about the animals? Okay, they didn't mate yet. Um, that's fine. Uh, we have to keep an eye on that if they do mate in the future, um, because maybe we should not <laughs> leave them doing that. Oh yeah, as this one. Oh god, and we we have the same issue here. Okay, you are. You are pregnant, so I'm I'm willing to give the contraception to the other one. Actually, I can I can give it to both, like one and two for the next time. And then uh, let's just uh, increase uh, the welfare of those guys as well. Here we go. Okay, so that's that's done. Mm, uh, was it this one was all pretty crowded? No, only two males. There can there's no potential of anything happening. Uh, so these animals, uh, we have to definitely give contraception to you, and as well as to the other one. Um, so 1.5 years. Okay, let, let's see if we can sell any of those. Uh, I have to go into wait a second, uh, the animal panel, and can I go to uh, exhibit animals? Uh, um, okay. Well, ah, uh, okay. It does. Uh, well, I I just want to go to the animals. Ah, uh, can I go to 
Welfare, welfare. Yeah, I see who of those are not doing great, but I'm going to change. Look at how many tigers we have. It's just insane. Oh, and they are still boxed again. Okay, so can I... Um, can I captive birth? Uh, can I get rid of them? No, not yet. So we have to wait actually until they mature. Okay, well, we're waiting. Good. So these dudes over here do not have the right temperature. So we have to throw in uh, some of the heaters now to make sure that this works. I don't even know how long the weather will be that way, but it's it's kind of you know it's kind of realistic though. Um, so I'm willing to put some heaters in. There you go. You get a heater in here. Uh, they have some heaters. That's fine. Uh, these you know these habitats I. I managed beforehand. These are kind of okay, so these these do work. Uh, work, but where are the artworks though? Ah, they are in here, right? I, I changed this. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna see the heater is going to be here, and then the camels obviously have a very hard time. I'm gonna give them two ish here, and yeah, the lions. I mean, I mean, sure, the lions do have an issue when they they are too cold. So oh, whatever, I'm gonna put this one here, and the other one here. So let's see. That should hopefully help making them a bit more, you know, warm in here. Oh, look at how the babies. The babies are just chilling next to mama. All right. So let's let's see if this is going to work out. Animal not is not an ideal temperature. What? Animal is too hot. How is that even like how is the animal even too hot? That is I was about to say that is not possible. The animal cannot be too hot. God, okay. So it has been in the box for too long. Yes, unbox all the animals for whatever reason. Dangerous animal has escaped. Oh my lord. How how did you how did you manage to How did you even Like how? How and where? Okay, I'm I, I think I'm gonna see that now. Um if we just drag that over here and we do another steel we we cannot change it. Uh, to maybe this one, that one. No, I have to. Okay, let's let's fit another one in the middle. Hello, hello. Uh, what the hell is happening here? Oh my lord. Okay, this is going to be a very funny episode for you guys to watch, but maybe not for me to play. So what else is is happening here? Can I just edit the barrier and just move that piece a bit more? Uh huh. So that is working. I, I believe they can use this this kind of corner over here, can they? Because babies sometimes have a different hitbox and then ah here we go. That's that's why. They can somehow jump here it it seems. Okay, so uh, what we have to do then is just increase this one. Can let's see if they can still jump there. No, they cannot okay, so they cannot escape. That's awesome. So weather is getting better, so that means temperature should go down. Oh my god, because we have to make sure that we save some money uh, because we are losing quite dramatically on, on the money since they did change all the stuff. So these animals, okay, they, they will go better in a bit. Um, low welfare, okay, now it is about the temperature. We are going to, we are going to get a deal about this um, with some coolers and then we do what we actually wanted to do, which is the... Um, Actually, what I wanted to do is the Arctic uh, wolf today. So, going to see if that works. Uh, we have to, we have to, you know, put down some coolers uh, alongside the habitat of our polar bears to make sure that they are in a, in a cool environment, and uh, not only from the looks of it, but also like from from space and stuff. So, yeah, I guess now they have enough space. It looks quite okay for me. Um, that's okay. So now, welfare-wise, you should not complain because that should be done in a bit. Let me just see. And I feel like we have to open the whole zoo to make sure that we get money again. I will wait though until I will open the whole stuff again um, because I'm not sure. Like I want to get in uh, the Arctic wolf in here. We're gonna move the hyenas first of all into another area, which um, yeah is hopefully better. Let me just quickly uh, set VSync on again because uh, honestly this is going not to be annoying. Um, so first of all, let me just uh, save the game. I'll be back in with you in a second. Alrighty, we are back um, and before we go on, let me just speed up the game a little bit. At the moment it seems that we have no issues at all and we can see if uh, we are making money. And I got the VSync enabled again and you hear from the music basically that I needed to 
do some things uh, about it, but it feels like we are losing money. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just checking if we do lose money or not. Um, oh yeah, well, we are losing dramatically out on money. Okay, so that means we have to uh, open the zoo up uh, again. There's no other way of doing it uh, because anyways, I, I want to make sure that I do have enough money to continue playing. Um, oh, look at the bear, look at the bear. It is just running across all the way. Look at that, I, I love it. I just love it. That is amazing. So the bear is just like all over the place here and off he goes into its wonderful habitat. How, how is your welfare? Pretty get, pretty damn good. Like I can actually deal now with the sizes, you know, it's actually fine. Um, okay, let's pause the game quickly and, oh god, like I see us really going bankrupt, guys. I really do not see us getting uh, enough money. Anyways, we will now, before we um, open the game again, uh, or like open, open the play, we have enough money to do what we need to do and then hopefully this is going to be, uh, yeah, well, the final call that it does work. Okay, what we do, we do have to put down, for example, an ATM here so that the people get money. But what we have to do, first of all, is donation boxes all over the place and education. This is the most important thing because I do not have education. Oh my god, why is that happening? Okay, here we go. One education, two education. Wait, is that like outside of it? Okay, so this is there. Educational speaker goes here. And where is that donation box again? A donation box, uh, where are you? See, we had like over half a million in this park and all the changes of Planet Zoo lately made us nearly bankrupt. It's insane. I mean, that is how much it changed with all the right, refunds and stuff and, you know, all the new kind of, kind of how much the uh, the costs were increased and no power. There was no power around here. That is unfortunate. Um, so where is the power actually? Is this like, okay, let me let me just quickly check. Power. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Um, okay, I feel almost like, okay, I feel like then we can keep that where it is, but we, we are going to put this one over to that side. Um, on top of here, there we go, and increase the uh, volume a little bit so people will see the polar bear here. We're gonna also put down some of the donation boxes here and here because they will potentially see it running across the bridge if I'm not mistaking. Um, there we go and put oops, this one here and then we obviously put a whole bunch in here uh, if, if we are allowed to. So one goes here, the other goes right to this window. Look, there's how the food goes for, for the polar bear. I have still no idea how this will turn out because they need to travel such a long distance uh, until until they are there. And I, I don't even know if they come running to, to get the food if they are hungry or what exactly is going to happen. I'm, I'm really uncertain how this will work out. But, um, well, we have to see. We have to wait and see. I mean, there's no other way of doing it uh, except doing, like, wait and see, you know. Uh, okay, so where is that? I need facilities and uh, deactivate the blueprints and then go to the education thing again. I'm gonna put this down uh, just here and then we're gonna put the polar bear on top of that one. So it's going to be the polar bear here. Awesome. Now all the education boards done. Uh, we need to change this habitat right, but yeah. So first of all, we we do have this habitat over here. I feel almost like we need to still put education boxes, uh, like uh, the donation boxes. You know what I do? I just edit this barrier and, and put another window just in here. So here we go. Um, yeah, it does not even need to be double-sided. Let's just keep it that way. I'm gonna move the donation box to this side. Actually, it looks pretty okay, everything about this. I like this habitat quite a bit, I have to say. So let's open this all up. Okay, that's done. Um, yeah, I deleted most of the stuff which is over here, but the thing is I I couldn't care less to be honest because like we have also the shops on top here They will hopefully make us some money um, And then like when we open it all up again, it's it's not really it is still season two because we changed 
the ho the whole center of the zoo is changed but i will have to throw in some speed build episodes the problem is now as we are losing out so much on money i do not have the money to finish off the buildings and this is a uh, kind of problem so we first of all have to see that we do the management side of it again uh, until we go and have that thing so first of all let's see if we can because leave mo we have a lot of leave money so um, which is also known as conservation credit. We are going to see if we find the Arctic Wolf uh, in here and see if there is any available on the market as of now. It, oh, wait, we are looking in my stored animals. That makes no sense at all. I, I do agree. I do agree that makes no sense. Look at how many bears we have in here now. Um, but not like, okay. God, it's a little leggy right now. Uh, I don't want to have this one. I want to have the Arctic Wolf and I don't want to have the polar bear. There you go. Filter. Yeah, well, no, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, now we get them for money? Are you Are you just freaking kidding me? Okay, let's see. That's not a good stat. What about... Ah, it's so laggy. Uh, no good stats. No good stats. Well, these are the best stats in terms of fertility, though, but the rest is not great. Like, I, I feel... I, I, think, I think we're going with this one, then. Um, or maybe we refresh the list and see. Okay, see he, here we go. We have some more available. Hello. Can we just? Okay. Very poor. God, these values are not good. Okay, let's adopt this one first. Gonna have the. If then the game would respond, please. Ah, come on. D done. Okay, so we have done that one, and I also want to go and filter for the females. Yeah. Well. Huh. I mean, I don't have that much money stuff, you know. Okay, what we can do now, we can we can basically go and uh, check our animals first because we have to get rid of some. See these these animals over here. We, you can we can. Uh, oh my god, rehome. But rehome. Oh well, twenty is fine. So that one is rehomed. Good because we, like these ones are too old now. Yeah, rehome that one too. Twenty is fine. So let's see. We have some good uh, good camels in here. They they do go together pretty nice indeed. Uh, we have a lot of tigers. There's some some money to be made soon. We have two bongos. They are actually in the trade center at the moment, so they are not making us any money. We can still not get get these. Um, God, we oh God. Okay, so we can do this. So make sure we don't get another one. Um, oh, we have like one of our. Jeeks. Okay, one of our pandas is already a little bit too old. I don't want to sell it. Let's let's wait for it. Uh, we have a lot of flamingos. They are all in the trade center right now. Can we can we just we can them all we can release them all to the wild, right? It, it should not be an issue to. Um, like, do we have enough children? Let me see that the one children is male, and then we can have one female for him potentially. Like the youngest female. Uh, we will we will keep so that is Malika and then I don't care about inbreeding at this point then maybe we get another one But let's get rid of many as many as we can Awesome, we don't get any credits for that. But I just want to clean up my zoo a little bit before we go on with the Arctic wolf uh, We have one as of now, so we have um, We have some some grizzly bears. Oh, that's kind of good baby grizzly bears Logan Look at the, oh my god, okay, so we only have Logan, um, we cannot sell Logan, huh, okay, I uh, know, that's Susley, by the way, Logan, Lo we could sell Logan, though, no, we cannot, oh, we can, we can release Logan to the wild, but I don't want at this point, and then we have, oh my good lord, we have so many macaque um, animals again, so let's see, we have to, we have to get rid of some again, Jesus, um, now let's do this, and then we have the males. Okay, these are babies, uh, babies, and then we have to. Well, let's try to get rid of the older ones. Then I was tucking too many young ones. So, Ozuru and Miki, you're gonna go too, and then we uh, keep Hanako and Haruno, and gonna release them to the wild. Uh, I give some credits. That's awesome. Okay, so zoo is going to be a bit more cleaned up now. Uh, not too cleaned up though, but okay. So we have the saltwater crocodiles. We have the lions. Uh, they are they are not really mature yet, so that's okay. We have all the all the different hyenas. Um, they okay? Are they just 
they don't go together as as too many females why are they all like they need to be fighting right are they just matured because are they just still babies because they will definitely fight each other um or are they not because if i remember the zoo wiki correctly then we should have an issue about this uh let me just check where are the spotted hyenas uh spotted hyenas as 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 um there we go spotted hyena and if i'm not wrong uh, wait there we go up to two males up to two females but this is weird two two now there are four but they're like three one which is weird okay what about the stats so we get rid of one uh, pretty good stats also decent stats what about you these are the weakest ones all right so are you alpha you are the alpha female right um funny enough you are the alpha female because um that's so weird why is the the, the least good one the alpha female uh but anyways we could just we could just release you to the wild but then the other ones would be fighting for the alpha status but well they should like why not I don't care because I will bring them into the trade center anyways. Okay, gonna gonna bring you back, and then you are going to trade center. You are going to your trade center, and you are going to your trade center. Alrighty. Now the next thing we need to do is to bring the Arctic Wolf in. Actually, um, I should have kept the game on pause as long as I'm doing that because, yeah, that's driving me into issues of money. So let's see, Arctic Wolf, uh, 6.4 years. Okay. Okay, we have to see that we get a female rather quickly. Um, so we always have to check the market. There we go, we check the market. Boom, longevity is not good, but maybe to get some babies, I will do this. Okay, move into the habitat directly because that's what we do. We just hope that, you know, these two animals will breed quickly and then we are all happy ever after again. Dennis just visits us. Okay, let's get the credits for that one. Let's get the credits for Dennis. Dennis, Dennis. Okay, so guests are not really that happy. So what is their issue? Energy uh, is rather fine. Hunger, it's not that good. Thirst is... Oh, thirst is actually an issue. And toilet. Okay, so thirst seems to be an issue. Um, as soon as we open that up, they have these shops all available. They still have these shops and these shops as well. So I'm, I'm worried that we maybe need some more shops. Uh, we have a big shop area over here, but where do we need another one? So maybe maybe just here. You know what we do? We squeeze them in bef be without actually doing some uh, nice uh, buildings at the moment because my reason for that is uh, that I think it will make us some money and then we can still make it nice looking. So Gulpy Soda is going to be a thing here. Um, yeah, let's do it that one. It will be the uh, yeah, that's that's nice I guess because it will then be the outside of this area. I think that should be nice. So and another pip shot smoothies. All right, there we go. And then uh, let's do that. And people seem to be very happy about this, right? Are they just stuck? They're just stuck. Oh no, no, now they just re. Oh god, look at how cramped that is over here. Oh my lord, how am I am I somehow able to get this a bit better organized? Not really. Are they just all um, whatever you do, guys? But um, you know what I do? I'm just putting another bin in here so that they are just next to it, the path, I guess, uh, so that this all goes naturally a bit. Oh my god! So no low welfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Okay, so pause the game because that's what I was waiting for. Um, terrain and temperature. Yeah, yeah, sure. We we're gonna get this done. Uh, I just want to see. So grass, long grass, blah, 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 soil. We, we're going to do the first thing we do is going to make a lot of soil uh, because that's what this animal needs and uh, uses and has. And then we are getting, okay, size wise, we are pretty okay with this habitat. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, all the, can they break out? Because I'm, I'm wondering, where's the other grass long? Is it down here in the, where do you have your grass long? So that's it, that's it, okay. So we can do some some rock now uh, to make also this look a bit nicer. 
because they're like complaining too about too much soil, which is totally understandable. Uh, here we go. Cool. Now that's that's awesome. We we did this, and uh, yeah, obviously they don't really like these trees. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna give them completely different kind of trees. Oh, oh well. Can I redo that? Yeah, because this one shall be. No, actually, you know what? Just delete all these plants. Um, no, I have to. Why? Why do they consider these to be in their habitat, anyways? Okay, never mind. I just want to make sure that they have. They are happy. They don't need to be perfectly happy with the. Okay, coverage is fine. Um, it's it's okay. We can keep those. And I. It's funny that they. They don't care. It seems. Uh, okay, tiger and tundra, arctic. We're gonna see um, what they have. Like, let's see in nature, and plants. Oops. So it is. Um, oh, we don't have arctic. Ah, that's 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 kind of an issue. So tiger and tundra, and then actually, well, do they do they like these kind of dead trees here? I I'm good at putting down dead trees. Let's see, they don't like this at all. I think it was still the issue that they, they don't like any of the trees, but they are still not too unhappy with it. So uh, I think we can just give them some spruce trees and stuff like that, just to make sure that this looks um, somewhat closer to what you think it would look like uh, in a zoo. And, you know, being in a Central European zoo, we, we can definitely have these these spruce trees. These are pretty common over here as well. So um, I don't feel bad at putting them in. Uh, maybe also some bushes and stuff, but uh, that's about it. I mean, come on, we don't need to overcomplicate things. I just want to make sure that this doesn't look too bare bone uh, and and too weird, I guess. So this is what we can put down. I definitely want to have this one as well. I like that tree again. So this is sh this should be fine. Now, how are you? How are you thinking about that one? Um, does it make you feel bad? No, it doesn't. So we have to get some temperature wise. We have to change some things. Obviously, yes. Okay, let's go to habitat and do all the coolest. Uh, I'm gonna put one here. The other one goes here. I don't want to overdo it, but um, I feel like it's it's quite important uh, to make sure that they are in the right temperature and well overall. Okay, so temperature should go better now. Okay, 10, 19. Okay, now now the overall. Welfare goes really good in into the good idea uh, good areas, which which I feel like is the most important thing to do Now as the temperature adjusts we can also paint some snow. I guess um, I just want to make sure that it's not It's not too heavy. I just want to make sure that this looks. Oh, yeah, right I, I was about to say not too heavy and it's just like completely heavy. Ah, there we go This is what I want to do like it would be super uh hard to get these kind of snow stuff in here anyways but i'm just trying to get this done in a manner that they like and this looks also a bit nicer for us i guess so yeah that's how we how we do it we have the arctic wolf now in which is great uh let me see if i can if i can bring in some more uh rocks and stuff and then i'm definitely going to open the zoo again for the guests and let's see how they spread and and how this all moves i, I definitely will save the game beforehand but yeah i i definitely want to do this at the end of today's episode like i feel like this is uh, you guys deserve this for the wait and also just like you know it makes sense i guess to uh, have a look if we will get our zoo back into into the profit zone because we need it if we don't do it uh, we are running into some severe issues and that's not what we want so yeah I guess uh, we all want this to be a successful zoo and I still want to be able to continue playing that one uh, so yeah there is a need for having a profitable zoo which I don't see happening right now but okay we will see that in a bit uh, also making sure that this looks a bit nicer over here uh, just ever so much that I can afford with the money. Now, this is done, and obviously that sign over here is wrong. This is now the Arctic Wolf. We have to do this all a lot better, because that looks not great. I, I do see that. It's not looking awesome. We have to change the whole side of here. You know what we first do? We change the whole terrain, because th the terrain over there looks very dull. And, uh, yeah, this is this is definitely what I want to do. I want to have like a rock face and I'm gonna gonna make this look a bit better soon hopefully just like this so that it doesn't look too repetitive just a bit of adjustments here and there and here we go 
Same goes over here. That should be very much rocky. And then we have to see about fences and stuff like that as well. Now, our Arctic Wolf seems to be pretty happy, though. Um, that's kind of nice. That's actually quite nice. Let me just have a closer look to your eye. They are fantastic. Like, I, I love how they are modeled. And if you put them right next to the timber wolf, you can see how much difference there is in those two uh, animals, which are in the same species, but they they just did such a fantastic job. Oh my god, what is the lag? What's the lag? Back, back we go. Back we go into a good... So they also seem to have really good enrichment items already in here, because they don't really complain about enrichment whatsoever. So that's kind of nicely uh, done. So they don't even complain about any... Oh, look at that! It's already playing with something. With the box over there, going to the shade. They have this, the, the right food, they have something to drink. That is pretty awesome indeed. Alright, so now let's save the game quickly. I don't know if that changes anything though, but um, before we lose more money, uh, we are opening up the zoo again. And I am really excited to see if this works. Um, it wasn't planned that early, I'll be honest with you. It wasn't planned as early as it is now. But uh, you guys see why I'm doing it, and maybe if we made enough money, we can we can just close it off again um, and make sure that the guests uh, go to another direction. Um, but we have to see. Okay, this one over here is being very narrow. Now we have to we have to kind of change the main entrance as well, which is going to be hopefully working out. Uh, let me change the width. With of that, what is going on here? No, I guess I need to first of all connect those. Yeah, there we go. And now I can delete this again. No one cares. Okay, this is how you get into the zoo. And then let's get rid of that sign. Close for refurbishment. Uh, we basically did the refurbishment. So there is no one living in here at the moment, right? So we're going to use this one over here to kind of, uh, yeah, just fence it off. Boom, there we go. There's nothing going on at this point uh, over here. Uh, gonna uh, make this none. All right, perfect. No animal available. And there's basically nothing to see over here. You ju just have to go into the zoo. Um, so that the, the gas flow hopefully is a bit easier. Now, uh, let's see. We just hit play and see what happens. Okay, all these guests just disappeared. And there's a whole lot of issues going on. Okay, I get it. I get it. Now, they are pretty frequent. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we could just kind of try to increase the money a bit here. 50 cents per per drink. Maybe that making us a bit more money. Uh, I really hope that this is going to make us some more profit. Inspector arriving soon. Okay. So that's, that's what we improved over here. And then going to... Oh god, these are very expensive smoothies, aren't they? Let's go to 11. Okay, can I just click in and put 11? Yeah, that's easier. Uh, there you go, 11, 11, 11. Awesome. So that's all fine. Uh, now, as the zoo is opened... Ah, oh, look at that. The gas flow is already happening, which is great. Can I go anywhere else? No, I can just go up here. They can have a look into the macaque habitat a lot better. Uh, do I do I have all the donation boxes everywhere? I do have enough uh, education. I hope uh, we do have you know We do have uh, way less education than we potentially need to so maybe we want to put down some more education here and there Let's let's see facilities and then go it's actually a huge leap forward in today's episode in general Let's put another ATM here. I just want to make sure that they they can get whatever they need in terms of uh, getting more money to spend, you know, they should spend money and then we need to have some money for them. Okay, cool. So this is done. Uh, where is that one? Okay, I disabled blueprints. That was, that was kind of weird uh, because I'm looking for that one education. I can actually also use my education board. Why not? Just put that here. And then, uh, where's the other education? There we go, the normal one. I'm gonna put this everywhere where people are standing and looking naturally, so just put another one here and then also we shall have one up here if the people are walking here and, and watching down they should see it okay done now let's put this old arctic wolf and then we have another one which is not the bison it's the arctic wolf obviously yes and then let's see that the educational speaker is also going for the arctic wolf 
which is going to be education is going to be working over here do they go actually down here to watch the animal because honestly do they see any of the animals now oh they are in here uh, that's pretty good that is pretty pretty good because then we can also put like a uh, 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 where is that one facilities facilities and then we'll go to the uh, screen that would have made things easier look at that it's just playing right in front of the window how good is that uh, the polar bear awesome so are they doing good I mean we have no complaints about the how they are doing right so they're pretty they're pre doing pretty good indeed it's just like the ball is in the water but oh, I love I love how they're using this building that is amazing I, I really didn't think they do but I oh, look at that they even they even go down here to check like if I don't make money now uh, it's about to inbreed oh my <laughs> what's that for kind of a party here they are watching them doing it please don't oh my lord that's like the breeding ritual oh my god please <laughs> Jesus no no <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, I get the reward because I just basically had this. Yeah, well, that was the easiest reward ever, I guess. Um, <laughs> damn it. Okay, so the next episode will be focused on making money again, I hope. But look at how much. I mean, okay, we got. Do we get more guests? I, I think we actually lost a lot of guests. Um, how about the guest thoughts, though? Uh, guests. Okay, so energy, well, doesn't really. Look that nice. Education is really not that good. Like, I really, like, pip shop smoothie look busy. I'll try somewhere else, okay? So, we need some more drinks, I guess, in general. Drink, thirst, hunger, toilets. Let's see if I can use some of my blueprints of my shops, because I I have some good blueprints of shops. Um, I provided for you, or else for me, but we can just use them, maybe, on uh, some clever spots. So, there's a quite busy area here. And there is also a very busy area here. So where is the next more busy area? So there's no one in the back here spending an eye on the pandas. It seems like almost they don't care. Uh, I feel like we need some food and drinks right over here. I think they will use the offer. Now, let's see. There we go. And then uh, let's move this bit. Uh, oh, that was clever that I have it as a blueprint. Now, that's pretty easy. Uh, okay, so we have these shops. These shops are now food, which is hopefully easy to maintain. Uh, okay, we will build this shop over there. Now we have this stuff here. The guests seem to be more happy now. We need to focus on education. Okay, let's see where the education is very poor. Now, guest education, okay. So this is where the... This is not great. Okay, we have so less education that I'm willing to... Oh, yes, please, yes. Um, um, okay, uh, okay, okay, never mind. I was thinking something else, so, nope. <laughs> but we get again polar bear bees. This is great. And yes, that was completely intentional. Animal is stressed. Okay, we can deal about this Um, pretty easy. I'm gonna make this one uh, one-sided. Here we go. Less stress for you. As we go, go swimming. I think we made this. Oh, we didn't do this uh, one-sided. Um, we, we should do that for the polar bear. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong direction. Here we go. Uh, no, hello. I just want to make sure that... Wait, can I just select those two? Okay, you know what I do? I just do it. Uh, wait, no. Is that not... I mean... Uh, one-sided... One sided and one sided. Here we go. The polar bear is swimming in its habitat. It's loving it. It is loving it. Are you. Please do not escape. It's looking so suspiciously escaping over here. Just don't do that. Oh, but it's so majestic. Look at that. Just look at it. Is it still stressed here? Because if it is, temperature is too hot. Okay. I'm gonna put some more coolers down here, I guess. Uh, because I don't want. It to be oh yes let's put a cooler down here in the water so that is that is almost what we need and there and there okay i mean we have a lot of energy stuff that's consuming a lot of water but yeah um low welfare is it also too hot what is what's the issue temperature is too hot okay so but you have all the coolers right they're going to zero degree i mean okay let's see that we we put some more in habitat uh cooler so we're gonna get one here and another one here. 
The guests shouldn't complain too much about the temperature, though. I just want to make sure that my animals are doing good. We are losing so much money, guys. I have no clue how to gain back the money. I am seriously not sure. I think we might want to do it with education, but this will hopefully be done in the next episode. I really hope you guys are excited for it, as I am, if we can keep up the zoo. If not, we will have to start a complete new, new one, which, um, yeah, might be might be a solution. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we do the, uh, still the, the research. Okay, well, there's no one researching the pandas, though. Neither is the bacterian camel. Uh, back train camel. What did I just say? Uh, you know what we do? Uh, what are you doing? You're doing that one. No, you're going for the polar bear. Uh, po uh, Arctic wolf. I'm so sorry. Okay, Arctic wolf. The guests need needs are going better. Okay, toilet is fine. Energy, hunger, thirst. We have to keep an eye on that. So I think we have to spend an eye on guest needs a bit more to make sure that they are more happy. Look, I love how they just run around here. This is so amazing. I love it so much. That is so good. It's like, hey, let's go play in the open world. Does the other one follow? Or is the other one still over here? Where's the other one though? Oh, it's it's following nearly. It, I think it's, a, it's about to follow, right? It's about to follow. Let's see what's happening. We hit the 70 again. Um, let's see how, how does this work. So a total profit of 29-ish is fine. Cash flow is not good. So ongoing expense. Oh my God, look at that. So this is, this is why. Animal food, power cost. Uh, Emergency captures, okay, that's not ongoing though. Scenery running costs, uh, zoo entrance refunds. God, the refunds are getting more and more because of the, I think because of the weak education. We have to get rid of the, the education issue and we have to somehow make money, guys. Oh God, this is just not good. Look at how much money we are losing. Um, I think what we need to do is, first of all, get, uh, okay, we, we might, I think one idea would be to go for, the food, uh, I think I don't want to do this, but we have to make sure that the food is not costing us too much money. And this is where we can save the most money easily, I guess. Uh, I'm, okay, anyways, I'm going to do this off screen and then hopefully have fixed it for the next episode. If not, I'm going to bore you with me fixing those issues. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, making sure that we have the Arctic uh, wolf in here, which we did, and reopened the zoo for everyone. Uh, and now we are just hoping for making some more money so I can finally finish the buildings. Until next episode, have a good time, guys, and see you then. Bye-bye. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.